Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to another edition of Get Coached Up. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here on the campus of Trinity High School in Pennsylvania with offensive coordinator Chance Powell. Coach, thanks for taking time. Thank you for having me. No problem. Now, you're a former running back. Yes, sir. You also play linebacker at Shippensburg. You play both. You coach high school football for 11 years, four as a head coach. <laughs> now you then you transition to coaching receivers at Shippensburg as well. So. The, the question I want to ask is how has all those different experiences helped shape your philosophy as a coach? Well, I think it's provided me with an opportunity to uh, uh, coach different positions as well as at different levels. And um, those things combined have helped me kind of formulate uh, my offensive philosophy as to where I am today. Now, as a linebacker and a running back, you, you have to have a certain level of passion for the game. And I know the defense side of football usually has a lot of passion and playing the position of the tailback, um, you also have a little passion as well because you kind of wired the same way. And right. Just want to ask you, what you what, what is it about the game that you feel as though you love the most? Well, I really enjoy uh, you know the X and O part is wonderful. Enjoy the football part, but I think in, in the big scheme of things, um, having the opportunity to use football is kind of like a conduit to life. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you see uh, especially uh, at the collegiate level, uh, kids coming in from different backgrounds, uh, socioeconomic, those kind of things. <clears throat> Watching them make their way through the first couple years. And, and, and it's, it parlays really into um, the high school level. If you can remember back when you were a freshman coming in mm -hmm. and looking up to all the older guys, wondering how you're going to make it through these first uh, uh, few days, uh, uh, make it through high school, the, the academic part, that kind of thing. So I think football, um, I really enjoy the aspect of working with kids, using it as a foundation to help them get through life, uh, really uh, to become better uh, fathers, husbands, uh, civic leaders, those kind of things. But I love the football aspect too. <laughs> now, you, you mentioned the, the, the working with kids part. Right. What would you say football teaches you? Uh, uh, do we have uh, all day? <laughs> uh, life skills. Mm -hmm. If I could sum it up, um, I would say the life skills, um, hard work, teamwork, uh, perseverance, those kind of things. Um, everybody has a different story, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, you know, it, it, it teaches you how to make your way through the ups and downs that you're going to encounter. You're going to encounter ups and downs in life with your job, employment, school, and football really is, if I could say, a microcosm of what you're going to see later on in life. Today we're, we're here, I'm getting coached up. We're going to hit the whiteboard in a second. What am I getting coached up on? Well, I'm going to uh, share with you a concept uh, that we used uh, when I coached college and uh, ball at Shippensburg University. And uh, I've kind of uh, tweaked a little bit uh, since I've come back to the high school level. So it is a uh, multi-coverage uh, beater. And I think it works well for coaches at college and high school. I'm excited. Well, I'm excited too. Let's go get coached up. Let's do it. All right, coach, what we got? Okay, I'm going to share with you today, uh, Emery, our rattle concept, mm -hmm. and it is a multi-coverage uh, beater, but it is especially made for a two-shell. All right. So what we're going to do uh, when we approach the line of scrimmage, uh, we talk to our quarterback about unfolding the defense, and the first thing he's going to take a look at is our coverage, which obviously is a two-shell right here. And what we're going to focus on is putting this fella here in a bind. Okay, you can see we're starting out in what some people will call a doubles concept. Uh, so what we're going to do to start things out, to start the ball rolling, once we've identified cover two shell, is we're going to motion our half back out into an empty set. Alright, so what that's going to do is force our cover two corner, okay, and we'll pretend right now, we'll pretend that he is a squat corner, okay, so he's squatting, got our two shell. That's widening things out right there for us. Now, on the snap of the ball, what we're going to do is have our X push in and up to a depth of 10 yards. Once he hits 10 yards, he is going to break for the corner. Okay. Number two receiver, which we call our H, 
is going to trail him at a depth of two yards. As he pushes up, when he gets to eight yards, he is going to take two steps out and then push inward. Okay, so obviously your cover two safety is in a bind. You would expect him to cover deep half. Okay, so we've got him in a bind right off the get go. Backside, to take care of the other safety, we're going to have number two push in, up the field to 10, and do a corner. Again, that's going to open the middle of the field up and get that safety out of the way for our trail to take the middle of the field. All right. So, backside number one is going to come under and execute what some would call a drag across the middle. Okay. Now, the fun starts for our quarterback. Focusing on our cover two read, we're going to assume he's going to take one of these two guys right here. All right. If he takes the corner, quarterback immediately is going to hit the inside receiver in the middle of the field. Okay, going to split the cover two. If the cover two safety protects the middle of the field, we're going to go corner. If, in this situation, the corner decides he's going to go back and cover deep quarter into what would be a quarter's concept, the quarterback is immediately going to check down to the flat. So we've got a cover two beater right there, conceptually designed to handle all coverages. Now, the quarterback's read, once he realizes, for example, the cover two safety will guard the in, inside of the field, cover the middle of the field, and we get more of a quarters look from the, uh, the cover two corner, he's gonna drift back. Immediately, your only threat is right here. He would have to take the flat. Right here is where the quarterback's eyes will drift to. Okay, so now we'll go from one, First read, corner drops back to a cover two look, down to our second read. First read, second read. If that wheel is good enough to get out here in the flat, he'll be replaced by our drag. And the quarterback will immediately focus on the drag. And that was my question because when you look at that wheel linebacker, I guess that goes by, uh, goes with your film study and how confident you are that that guy can get to that back out quickly because if not then you kind of have a three-way go you know right off the bat exactly and again uh, you know this could be adjusted game to game but that's our base concept um, now I can share with you also uh, the other part of uh, this being a multifaceted uh, defensive uh, uh, coverage beater let's take a look at this right here All right, let's say we get a different look from the defensive secondary. When the snap of the ball, this was our main read. Quarterback unfolds the defense. Okay, we're looking cover two. Sends out the defensive back, or excuse me, the uh, tailback into the flat. All of a sudden, on the read, the safety comes down into what a lot of uh, defensive coordinators would call a, uh, a sky coverage. Mm -hmm. Corner, bails. Safety comes over top, corner drops. Okay, now we get into the fun part. Backside number two, in this case, is our tight end. Originally said cover two, he's going to take a corner backside. If he sees a clear field, he's right up the seam. So the quarterback, when he unfolds on his first or second step back, sees a sky coverage, safety rolling. He immediately is aborting this side, and he's going to hit the seam backside right here uh, on the backside of the safety who's uh, covering for the uh, sky into the cover three. You're getting you're getting a lot of um, guys doing multi, uh, having to read coverage on the fly. Do you find that that's something that's teachable, and, and our guys getting it now? And because a lot of times coaches tend to think, I don't want to put too much on guys. 
but if they're able to pick it up, it makes your offense that much more dangerous. It really is. It, it, and again, this is not a rogue memorization uh, type of play. It is conceptual. Mm -hmm. uh, we do switch the players around. Uh, we can run this to the other side. This concept right here, uh, simply for the fact that this is our X and H, okay? Get to this part here. This can be run, this is called X rattle. We could flip it and run it to this side. In this case, this is the Y and the Z. We could, we could certainly run a Z rattle or a Y rattle. So the concept all fits. We run to both sides, mm -hmm. uh, uh, empty out the tailback to either side. Uh, I've been asked also, uh, why do you put the tailback in motion? Why don't you start him out here in an empty set? Well, for us, and what we like to do, we still have the option to uh, what we call gander. We can uh, uh, execute a run play out of this. But what this allows you to do when this uh, tailback uh, widens into the flat, it helps the quarterback unfold the defense. Mm -hmm. The corner's going to widen. Hey, if he doesn't widen, we got a freebie out here. Okay? If he does, now he can at least uh, unfold the defense pre snap. That may change his first or second step back, but uh, this is all part of a concept that we go over. Quarterback has to understand that, but the other guys, they just know what they're running based on the coverage. It's very simple. Now, you don't, you also don't want to, um, as you motion the guy out, are you waiting later in the cadence because you kind of don't want to, you know, give tip them off right away as what we're doing. Absolutely. Uh, the quarterback's told, and you'll run into this, this is one of the things we run into early in spring ball. Uh, quarterback's all excited. He thinks he's reading the coverage. He's going to snap the ball right here. That's not a good thing. We want, <laughs> we, we want to widen the corner and uh, let the, uh, let the uh, defensive coordinator and the defensive uh, backfield uh, show the cards, uh, one might say, so we get a better read. Uh, stay calm, let the things unfold, and then execute the play. Now, here's your other, uh, I've been asked this question as well. We've, we've gone to a cover, really a cover three beater with the sky. We have a cover two beater, okay, what we started out with. And we also have uh, a quarter yeah. beater. You get a hot read. What are you gonna do, okay? You get a blitz. Okay, I'm not gonna get into how we set our line, but it is a slide, okay? Uh, Quarterback is in charge of setting the the uh, the defense of the offensive line protection. But uh, in a nutshell, real quickly, we'll slide everything to his back. Okay, backside. We have the same routes going on right here. Uh, save him for a second. So we have one to one, uh, one to one, one to one, and uh, backside Sam. These two guys right here are on the quarterback. So let's execute the play here with a blitz or a hot read. Okay, so we've unfolded the defense. We've set our coverage by the quarterback. Now all of a sudden, we're seeing that things could end up with a uh, cover zero look. All right, so quarterback sees the safeties down. Cover zero look, cover one look, whatever it may tend to be. Again, here's our answer for that. These two guys are unaccounted for right here, okay? With our slide coverage. If Will comes, he's got a free go. Right here, we have our hot read. On his first three steps, if he sees Will coming, he's gonna sit. That's our hot read. Mike, right here, if we get a cover zero look. Here's our rub, he's coming off right here. If Mike would come, unaccounted for, remember we do have the Sam counter for in the backside slide. If Mike decides he's gonna come, we have a hot read right here with a rub. And so our quarterback is told to look at those two things as well. Will comes, hot here. Mike comes, hot off the backside with a rub. Simple replace, right? It is a simple replace, and again, this is your drag, or some call it drive route, whatever you want to refer to it as. But So now we've got our cover zero one beater, we've got our cover two beater, we've got our quarters beater, and if they decide they're going to sky into cover three, we have our backside seam. And this is a good concept because you're, you're not only training the quarterbacks, 
on reading coverage and, and being able to diagnose pre-snap, but you're also training the receivers to read and diagnose on the fly, which is something that you don't see a lot of college receivers able to do once they get to college. You know, that's right. a learned skill. Right, and, and, and it's one of those things I think your freshman in college, your freshman in high school, we try not to overwhelm them with coverages. Mm -hmm. What we'll do with this backside tight end, or whoever may be number two backside, we'll refer to, we won't uh, load them down with cover two, co quarters, cover zero, cover one, because there's eight million coverages. What we'll do is tell them, where's the green grass, okay? So if you're running, you get to eight to 10 yards, and you're, getting to, you're deciding that you're gonna do your corner, but all of a sudden you see the safety vacate, Okay, and once again, we get down into the uh, sky look, you just keep running. If he is over top of you, he stays there, well, where's the green grass? It's over here. Mm -hmm. So we try to use simplistic concepts initially. Where's the green grass? Uh, you know, settle on that grass. If it's zone, run. If it's man, uh, again, our runaway guy, we would refer to him as if he uh, in a cover uh, zero look. Um, and as they develop, uh, and mature, learn the game a little bit more, we'll get into a little bit more of the uh, descriptive uh, coverages. Uh, two quarters, zero, one, uh, half filled coverages, which is way down the line. If guys are able to do this now, by the time they get to that college level, they'll be ready to go. So I really do appreciate you taking time, show me your route concept. I enjoyed uh, spending some time with you, Emery. All no problem, appreciate that. Thank you.